תכף במחשבה לברוא את הנשמות, הייתה מחשבתו... By the very thought to create the souls, his thought completed everything, for he does not need an act as do we. Instantaneously, all the souls and worlds that were destined to be created emerged, filled with all the delight and pleasure and the gentleness that he had planned for them. In the final perfection that the souls, that the souls were destined to receive at the end of correction, after the will to receive in the souls has been fully corrected and has turned into pure bestowal, in complete equivalence of form with the emanator. This is so because in his eternalness, past, present and future are as one. The future is as the present, and there is no such thing as time in him. Hence, there was never an issue of a corrupted will to receive in its separated state in Ein Sof. On the contrary, that equivalence of form destined to be revealed at the end of correction appeared instantly in his eternalness. Our sages said about this, before the world was created, there were he is one, and his name is one. For the separated form in the will to receive had not been revealed in the reality of the souls that had emerged in the thought of creation. Rather, they were adhered to him in equivalence of form by way of he is one, and his name one. Excerpt 25 from Baal Sulam, letter 25. One who repents out of love is rewarded with complete dvekut, complete adhesion, meaning the highest degree. And one who is ready to sin is in the netherworld. These are the, the farthest two points in the entire reality. It would seem that we should be meticulous and precise with the word repentance, which should have been called wholeness, except it is to show that everything is preordained and each and every soul is already established in all its light, goodness and eternity. But for the bread of shame, the soul went out in restrictions until it clothed in the murky body and only through it does it return to its root prior to the restriction with its reward in its hand from all the terrible maneuver it had made. The overall reward is the real adhesion, meaning that the soul got rid of the bread of shame because her vessel of reception has become a vessel of bestowal and her form is equal to her makers. And I have often spoken to you about that. By this you will see that if the descent is for the purpose of ascending, it is regarded as an ascent and not as a descent. Indeed, the descent itself is the ascent, as the letters of the prayer themselves are filled with abundance, and with a short prayer the abundance is small for lack of letters. Excerpt number 26 from Rabash. By your actions we know it. It is written, the whole earth is full of his glory, as it is written in the Zohar. There is no place vacant of him. Yet we do not feel it for our lack of tools of sensation. We can see that with a radio receiver, which receives all the signals, all the sounds in the world, the receiver does not create the sounds. Rather, the sounds exist in the world, but before we had the receiving device, we did not detect the sounds, although they did exist in reality. Likewise, we can understand that there is no place vacant of him, but we need a receiving device. That receiving device is called Vekut, adhesion and equivalence of form, which is a will to bestow. When we have this machine, 
we will immediately feel that there is no place vacant of him, but rather the whole earth is full of his glory. Number 27 from Rabash notes concerning Or Chozer, reflected light. The upper lights are already prepared for a person, as in more than a calf wants to suckle, the cow wants to nurse. And all we need is a kli. After the Tzimtzum restriction, this kli is called Masach and Or Chozel. And this is what connects the upper and the lower. That is, through it, the lower one connects with the upper one. When this connector does not exist, the lower one cannot see the upper one, and the upper one is regarded as non-existent from the perspective of the, of the lower one. Hence, to the extent that one begins to work for the sake of the Creator, to that extent he acquires connection with the upper light, and by the measure of his connection, so is the measure of his attainment. Excerpt 28 from Bala Sulam Shamari 54, the purpose of the work, one. The will to receive is also incorporated in the will to bestow, sorry, the will to bestow of the lower one is also incorporated in the will to receive, or else there is no connection between the giver and the receiver. This is because it is impossible that one will give and the other will give nothing in return, yet there will be a state of partnership. Only when both show love to one another, is there a connection and friendship between them? But if one shows love and the other shows no response, such love is unreal and has no right to exist. Our sages stated about the verse, and, I, and to say unto Zion, you are my people, do not say a me, my people, but in me, with me to be my partner, meaning that the created beings are in partnership with the Creator. It follows that when the lower one wants to bestow upon the Creator, the lower one too should receive from the Creator. This is called partnership, when the lower one gives and the upper one also gives. Excerpt number 28, this is from uh, number 29, this is from Bala Sulam, Shamati 57. We must evoke a desire from above to administer below. It is not enough that we have a desire, but there has to be a good will on the part of the giver, too. Even though above there is a general desire to do good to his creations, he still waits for our desire to awaken his desire. In other words, if we are unable to evoke his desire, it is a sign that the desire is on the part on the part of the receiver is still incomplete. Shamati 42. It is written, annul your will before his will, meaning annul the will to receive in you before the desire to bestow, which is the will of the Creator. This means that one will revoke self-love before the love of the Creator. This is called annulling oneself before the Creator, and it is called dvekut. Subsequently, the Creator can shine inside your will to receive because it is now corrected in the form of receiving in order to bestow. This is the meaning of so that he will annul his will before your will. It means that the Creator annuls his will, meaning the Tzimtzum, that was because of the disparity of form. Now, however, when there is already equivalence of form, hence now there is expansion of the light into the desire of the lower one which has been corrected in order to bestow. 
for this is the purpose of creation, to do good to his creations. And now it can be carried out. Now we can interpret the verse, I am my beloved's. It means that by the I annulling my will to receive before the Creator in the form of all to bestow, it obtains and my beloved is mine. It means that my beloved, who is the Creator, is mine. He imparts me the delight and pleasure found in the thought of creation. Thus, what was hidden and restricted before has now become disclosure of the face, since now the purpose of creation has been revealed to do good to his creations. It's like he writes in uh, the mouth of a sage that the righteous have no rest, meaning because the, the abundance is blessed according to the degree of deficiency and longing of the righteous, to that extent, not more and not, not less, they always exert to expand their receptacle since the giver has no measure, only the receiver. Therefore, their whole aim in life is to strengthen and yearn and make a receptacle in order to bring contentment by expanding the Kedusha and the blessing.